Welcome back to a brand new episode of Master in Programming. In today's episode, we'll be going to be doing something very interesting and something very cool, and that will be creating our own AI content generator, where you can simply do something like call in a function, just like this. Simply place in a topic, let's say something like, are dogs better than cats? And once you run this, it will literally go on the internet and it will literally generate some AI content for you, a blog for you. You can see straight away, just from that sentence that I wrote, it said, there's no right answer to this question because it depends on what you're looking for in a pet. If you're looking for an animal, whatever, I know will write you some content on it. In this tutorial, I'll also show you how to do two other things. So aside from blogs, you can even write social media advertisements like this. Over here, you can place whatever message you would like. For example, let's say you're an electrician. All I'll need to do is literally type in electrician. If I run this right now, it will generate an advertisement that an electrician can use. Looking for an electrician in your area? Check out our website today and find the perfect one for your needs. Last and final example in this is the cute messages AI generator. So I'll simply type in cute messages. Over here, I can leave like the occasion. So let's say Valentine's to girlfriend and I'll click on save, run and debug. And straight away, if you just give it a few seconds, it will create automatically a message for you. Happy Valentine's Day, my love. You bring joy to me every day and I cherish you more than you can ever possibly know. I hope your day is wonderful as you are. Now I'll teach you exactly how to do this and that way you can actually use the return in an, in an app or a website. And by the way, I actually created this entirely as an iOS app and also on my website. And you can use both of them entirely for free. You can generate product descriptions, cover letters, job descriptions, key messages, short answers, video ideas, whatever it is, you can use it. So if you would like to continue in this video, make sure before you do so, check out the existing app and the existing website that I created using this information that I'm about to share for with you in this tutorial. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back guys. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to be using a tool called OpenAI and everything in this tutorial is completely for free up until a particular point. So you don't need to put your credit card details or anything like that. You can completely use this for free for everything that I'll do in this tutorial. At some point, if you actually want to publish your app, you'll need to consider that you will have to pay at some point and I'll show you exactly how much now. One other tool that I'll be using is just Visual Studio. Now I choose to use Visual Studio just for how simple it is, but you can use anything else as well, such as PyCharm or anything else that you use for Python. Now, the only thing that I've created is just this folder called YouTube AI, and I'll be creating a new file, and we're only going to be doing the entire project in one file, and that file will be uh, containing Python code. Now, let's get started. So as you can see, I'm already on OpenAI, and this is the link that you'd need to go to. You can, I'll leave a link uh, in the description for you to visit this and be on the same page as I am. And what you need to do at this point is you just need to click on API. Now, I already have an account, so I'll simply click on login. For you, you will just need to cl click on sign up, uh, verify your account, whatever, and then you'll get to the page that I'm in now. So I'll click on login. I'll enter my login details. And once I'm on this page now, you can see that right now I have access to uh, something called a playground. And if I click on playground, this basically allows me to put um, commands basically to the AI and it will do exactly what I mean. For example, if you write this exact description of what we have here, so something like write a tagline for an ice cream shop and click submit, the AI will actually do some work and it will generate a tagline for an ice cream shop. Now, what we will be doing in this tutorial is we're going to be creating three different functions. One that will create a social media advertisement, one that will create a key message, and one that will create a short blog for us. So let's start with the key message one. What I wanna show here, or what I want the AI to do here, is first using the play playground, I wanna see if it can generate realistic messages, cute messages, maybe that one that you can send to your parent or girlfriend or boyfriend, Something like that. So what I will do is I will say something like write a cute message for. I put two dots and then I will say 
something like girlfriend birthday and I'll put a full stop and I'll click on submit and you can see that it wrote us a nice message happy birthday my beautiful girlfriend you bring joy into my life every day and I can't imagine my world without you I hope you have a wonderful day and know that you are loved by me always now what we want to do is we want to create some code that will also generate this depending on what using Python depending on what it says over here so this will remain consistent write a queue message for and then the reason will be the thing that will change something else that I want to change is I want to make sure that this is still 0 0.5.7 but over here I'll put 300 and this changes just like it says here how detailed the message will be now if I remove this and try the exact same command again and click submit you'll see that this time it will probably write us more details or will have more random stuff to it and we can change this to anything else for example we can say something like boyfriend graduation party and I'll click on submit and it will actually generate a graduation a nice graduation message such as you did it I'm so proud of you and everything you've accomplished congrats on graduating let's celebrate tonight with a special dinner and a bottle of champagne I love you so this is the first thing that we want the Python code to do so what I'll do now is I'll first click right click or click over here and then I'll click view API keys open link in a new tab and basically in order for this to work you will need to have your own API key and to do this you just need to come here and click on create new secret key copy that key and then what we're going to do before we even do anything else is just we need to save that API key in our file so let's go back to Visual Studio and let's actually create the file and then we're going to save the API key that will allow us to communicate with OpenAI and hence generate that AI content. So I'm going to go over here and I'll click new file and let's save it as AI content. And I'll just save it in my desktop like this. Over here, what we can do is we can go ahead and change this to Python like that. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'll just say API key is equal to, and then I'll go ahead and paste my API key over here. And I'll put it between quotation marks, just like this. Now, obviously you will replace whatever I have over here with your own API key. That way you can use it for your own account in the playground. What I'll then do is I'll go ahead and go back to the playground and we actually want to use this model here. So what I'll do is I'll click on view code, I'll click copy and you can see that it generates all the code for us. I'll go back over here and I'll paste this like this. And something else that I'll do is I'll just copy these and paste them at the very top. We can also replace this part like this and this and instead we can just paste the API key from here and basically paste it over there so now we no longer need this part there we go perfect so now that we've got this ready what I want to do is I actually want to see if we're getting any response straight away by running this so what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll type print response and I'll save this. Now I'll go to my run, my debug over here and I'll click run and debug. And we can see that it generated a JSON or it gave us back a JSON that says that has a few different things, but most importantly it has text. And it says, my boyfriend is graduating. I'm so proud of him and everything he has accomplished. I'm excited to celebrate his success with him and our friends. Beautiful, so we got that to work. Now let's actually create this into something more reusable. So what I'll do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and create a function and I'll call that function defq messages, open and close the bracket and I'll put everything over here 
just one forward like this. Now for that function here I'll put a query and what we will do is we'll actually remove this over here and we'll do that, we'll pass in query oops sorry dot format query and that way every time someone calls that function they can just pass in um, a unique purpose for that query so basically you write, write a message for and you can put for girlfriend, for dad, for whatever and just to demonstrate this let's go ahead and actually call in the function so I'll say cute messages open a bracket and inside of here I'll say um, baptism I'll save this and now I'll run and debug again and you can see that now it sends me a new message that says may the Lord bless you on this special day as you start your journey as a new Christian we can replace this by anything else so we can say something like um, 50th birthday to father and again I'm making it a little bit difficult I'm not really giving the exact responses that you would need or like some more details but basically here we get another response saying wishing you all the love and happiness in the world on your special day you deserve it dad beautiful so we got that to work so now what else can we do well I don't want it to print out that whole JSON I want it to print just that text so what we can do is we can go over here and we can do something like first let's actually check if we are getting a response back sometimes they might get confused and not actually give us anything so I'll say if choices in response if len response choices is greater than zero so basically, if the length of the responses that we're getting is greater than zero, so if we are actually getting something, then what we need to do is we need to say answer is equal to response. And inside of here, I'll say choices. Over here, I'll put zero. And over here, I'll put text. And then what we will do is we'll basically print that text. Oh, sorry, print that answer. Just like this. So now let's go ahead and run this and see if we are getting anything. And I just realized we're not actually... Um, we're not actually calling the function, so let's just call it again, cute messages. And over here I'll put something like... Um, uh, I'm just gonna write whatever and if I click on run and debug and I just realized that I did a mistake here so this should be like this and that should be like that and now if I stop this and run this again it should definitely work this time there we go so now we're printing the exact text it's basically saying happy Valentine's Day my beautiful girlfriend I'm so grateful to be with you and share my life with you. You're my everything and I love you from the bottom of my heart. Great, so now we finished actually our first function which sends key messages. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and create three different functions. One will be def uh, and it will be social ads query. And for now, we'll just put pass. Finally, one will be blogs query. And again, we will say pass. Perfect. So now, what I'll what I'll do is I'll basically just copy this, and I'll go where it says pass, and paste it. He paste it. Now. What we will change is basically we'll go over here and we'll say write a social media advertisement for 
here we are going to say write a short blog on and now we can actually test each one individually so I'm going to save this and then I'll say social media ads here I put the topic or the thing that I want to advertise for example let's say you're someone who does um, personalized boxes you can basically type in personalized boxes and I'll save that and now if, I, if we run and debug you can see that it's generated an ad for us here looking for a way to stand out from the competition check out our personalized boxes the perfect way to show your customer you care beautiful so now we've created an AI that literally creates a social media ad for us let's check the final one which is the blog so all I'll do is basically I'll type in blogs I put in the topic let's say uh, AI is better than humans oh interesting right and I'll save this and I'll click run and debug and there we go wow so <laughs> so it wrote all of this for us actually and you can see over here and it wrote all of that AI is better than humans when it comes to processing whatever 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 so it literally wrote you a short blog on this so you can see that the AI actually does work now this was actually it for this video so in this tutorial we basically learned how to use open AI to send key messages send social media ads to write blogs and you can use this in any way you can create uh, emails or messages or whatever now remember like I mentioned earlier in the video that you can use this to uh, I already actually created this app and website and you can go ahead and use it right now um, so please if you would like to support me by any way please make sure you that you do download my iOS app make sure you do visit the website use this for yourself and let me down let me know down in the comments if this is actually useful and you'll be able to use it thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode